Hello, hello, hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen of Moon Ra coming to you with your very special 718 reading. I literally could do a reading every single day because numbers are so powerful in the big scheme of things um, as it relates to our universe, as it relates to astrology, as it relates to tarot. Numbers are very, very, very significant. So <clears throat> what I want to share with you, Aries, first of all, before I even get started with your reading, is that we have some, along with this this crazy pandemic that's happening right now. Um, we have a lot of people who are contemplating suicide. All you have to do is like look in the, I try to stay off of social media as much as possible aside from uploading on this page. I mean this channel. Um, but a lot of times you look around and this person has died. This person has did this. It's just so much going on right now. And um, I want to be able to keep our help to keep our vibrations high, which is part of the reason why when I come on, I, um, I want to share what your, your um, character traits are for each astrological sign. And so if you know of anyone who is suicidal and like check on people, check on your strong friends, check on your strong family members, the ones who seem like they have it all together, um, because to have some, to lose someone in your life. Um, to suicide is completely shocking and earth shattering. Like really, if somebody close to you that you just never ever thought in a million years would kill themselves, if that were to happen, that's like, oh my goodness, I never saw all the signs coming. Now one, I posted something in the community section of my channel. Um, so there's a you know number you can call, but the number here in the United States is the National um, Suicide Prevention Lifeline. That telephone number is 1-800-273-8255. Again, it's 1-800-273-8255. If you know of anyone who is contemplating suicide, please, please, please call that number. Um, you may have to send law enforcement over to their homes for a wellness check just to make sure they're okay. But, you know, we want to see if we can help people. You know, it's just like I said, it's a lot going on. This pandemic has got a lot of people just like not acting like their normal selves. And so, you know, we want to do our part and push humanity uh, forward um, in a positive way. Okay. Um, also, I wanted to share with you um, the fact that I was giving away crystals the other day, that has ended. That was on 716, so that part is ended, all right? Um, so if you sent me an email, because I, I will have no way of knowing of like by name or email address or whatever what your astrological sign is, but if I sent you an email, just know that your crystal is en route. It's, it's coming. I have tracking numbers and everything, but I also have a, another group of people that I have not had an opportunity to respond to that actually sent me an email on 716. So just know that your crystals are going out very, very soon. Um, like I said, the post office is closed right now. I don't think that they're open on tomorrow. So my first opportunity to actually send them out will be on Monday. So check your emails. Um, if you sent me something on 716, not 717 or today, but on 716, if you sent me an email saying that you wanted a crystal, um, and then, and I, and I responded, just know that it's on its way. Okay. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to share with you is, um, a lot of people have been asking me if I perform personal readings and the answer is yes. My contact number is also in my, um, in the about section of my channel. The number is 202-460-3205. Again, it's 202-460-3205 in the about section of my channel. Okay. Now, let's get to today's date. Today is 718. We know the significance of number seven. That's for perfection and completeness, right? The number 18 carries its own power, but the root of 18 is nine. Nine is, represents transformation. It represents something need, needing to end to begin again, right? In other words, hitting the reset button. So let's get into your reading, okay, Aries? Most High God in the universe, please give me information uh, information for my Aries as it relates to spirituality and them taking action. Also in areas of um, power and intellect, in areas of creativity and, and emotions. Also as it relates to their money and their wealth. Okay? All right, Most High God, what do you have for us? What do you have for us, Most High God in the universe? Let's see, for my Aries. Let's get into it. What do we have for my Aries? 
Let's see, do we have, okay, let's see if they have any um, major arcanas. For, okay, so we have the Justice card and the Strength card, okay. So things are actually balanced in your favor, okay, Aries? So you have a lot of strength. The Strength card is attached to the Leo, which is also in your element, which is the Fire sign. Justice card um, is saying that justice is in your favor, but I just need you to be strong. I really, really just need you to be strong. Um, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. Um, the majority of the cards right here in your favor right now are the King and Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So it looks like somebody doubted you in terms of in terms of your money. It could have been a um, it could have been a, a Earth sign, a um, Taurus, Capricorn, or um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But somebody doubted you, doubted, doubted your money, but you came out winning. Look, Queen and King of Pentacles, money, money, money right so what i want you to see here like i said this is this is represents you sitting by yourself on the throne by yourself meaning that you're not alone it's just by choice right there's only room enough for you on that throne and so um but somebody really really doubted in terms of the money in terms of you know your money but you have the strength you have the fire and strength in you of a lion okay you know again leo is right in your um is right in your element so and then this justice right here this is your power and intellect right here look at that sword this is your power and intellect so the scales are balanced in your favor that's what i want you to see this 10 of swords right here Let's me know that somebody actually cut themselves out of your life. They completely cut themselves out of your life. And so let them go. When people remove themselves from your life, just let them go. You don't have to say anything bad about them. You don't have to think anything bad about them. Um, but just let them go. Just, you know, just let them go. Right here, this um, Queen of Pentacles right here is showing me that, you know, you have like a, you have a big heart. You are, um, you, you, you nourish people with your, your words. You're like earth mother. That's what I'm getting like here. And that's what like draws people to you. See, a lot of times people think wealth is just about money, money, money. It is about like having people around you, people who see you as being like that person that like, you're not lacking anything in other words. And then the king of pentacles, this is about prosperity, abundance, attainment. So, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> that's why I say people see you as a very nurturing kind of person, right? Very stable, very nurturing. And so, um, you don't have anything to worry about. You really don't have anything to worry about, but the person, the person that, that thought that doubted you was a person that was in that earth element. Now this person right here, the 10 of swords, this person that cut themselves off from you is in the air element, right? That's the Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. They cut themselves off from you. And it looks like they were the one that was hurting really, really bad. And so they actually walked away from everybody, not just you. It walked away from everybody. And so it may have made you feel some kind of way, um, you know, because usually when I see this Ten of Swords, I see betrayal, backstabbing, and the whole nine yards. But that's not what I'm getting from this. Not at all. I'm not seeing that at all. You know, um, and, and by the way, when you're dealing with an earth sign, I'm sorry, when you're dealing with an air sign, that's the Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, a lot of them, um, won't, won't betray you. It may feel like a betrayal because they, they turn around and walked away, but they're, especially the Aquarius, they're so busy in their mind and they're on their own, whatever, you know, um, they just kind of sort of walk away and don't even look back, you know? So again, whoever walked out of your life you know, just let them, let them just go on about their business, you know, yeah, let me see, there's a, oh, okay, you have the emperor, okay, this is, this is right, this is you, right here, this is the Aries card, the emperor card, so, um, because, hold on, because people see you as like this mothering, and again, this is masculine, feminine energy, but because people see you as like this, this mother figure, like this very nurturing kind of person, right, um, you know, you're good as far as your money is concerned. Like I said, anybody that walked out of your life, you know, you just let them walk out of your life. Like, um, you also have, hold on. So there's a, hold on. Let me, let me move some things around. There's a lot of sword energy. This is a lot of power and intellect with you. You have a major breakthrough. So this person had walked away from you. 
cause some anxiety, some stress like cause you to kind of sort of wonder like what the heck happened but just know that this person was really really hurting again this is in their air element this is the um aquarius gemini libra this person was really really hurting so they cut themselves out and it really really hurt you but then you had a breakthrough this is where the strength comes in you really you had a breakthrough and so for you that breakthrough gave you clarity power you know, like you can see things clearly now. Remember, your sign, the fire sign, is one of spirituality and you taking action. So, but you see things for what they really, really are. You see now that that person was not trying to hurt you. They were actually really, really hurt. And so they removed themselves not only from your life, but from a lot of people's lives. And it actually hurt you because you couldn't figure out what was going on until you settled down and like really went in like introspection and just like decided okay let me let me take a, a, a another look at all of this right <clears throat> excuse me so this person right here this knight of swords right here this is letting me know that um and I want to get I want to get like real real close into this um, this person right here is letting me know that you have intense focus right now. Like your focus is on a thousand. You have intense focus. You had, it's like you had a breakthrough. Like you saw, like your third eye, you were able to see that, you know, listen, with my spirituality, I can see this person right here was very, very free spirited. You know, they may have been hurt like deeply deep, and it may not even been hurt by you they could have just been hurting you know like i said before at the outset of this 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 reading a lot of people are suicidal and we don't even know it um so this person may have just removed themselves from the, your life just to save themselves um but like i said you had um there were people in your life that were actually doubting your money. The people that were doubting your money is in the, the um, earth element. That's the Taurus, the Capricorn, Virgo. They were actually doubting your, they were actually, they were not only doubting your money, they were doubting your sincerity, but it still didn't stop your money. Look at this. We also have some cups energy. We have cups. I want to make sure we get these cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. The cups is attached to your um your creativity and your emotions right um the dominant here is like it dealt with like the power and the intellect it dealt with like you getting past the fact that this person walked away from you like i said that air sign walked away from you but then you had a breakthrough that's the spiritual piece you had a breakthrough so i wouldn't be surprised if you either had a dream you heard a reading um, not necessarily for me, it could have been another tarot card reader, but you, you heard something that gave you a breakthrough. And so now you have a laser, laser, laser focus. And so, um, when I see like, um, you know, the cups cards, I know that has a whole lot to do with your emotions and it has a whole lot to do with, um, 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 your uh your emotions and your creativity this five of cups has let me know that there was like there was a, a period in time where you were like really really disappointed like you were really really disappointed that um you know this this all this goes together that's why i know it was an air sign you were really really disappointed that maybe this person just couldn't come talk to you of like what was going on and what was hurting them um and so that just kind of see how this person is like filled with emotions but their head is down I don't know if you can see, let me get, see if I can get close enough, where their head is down. Like you were really, really disappointed. And so um, it's also letting me know that this person was somebody very close, very familiar to you. Like maybe um, you knew them when they were a child. Like you, you, I wouldn't be surprised if it is a, and this may not resonate with everybody, but like you were like a mother to them, you know, and then that person just kind of, they walked away and but they walked away because they were hurting right so see right here this person is like as a, a mother to a child i wouldn't be surprised if it's like somebody that you you were like a mother to um but it, it caused a great dis a deal of disappointment that but this person had to walk away to save themselves actually so that that in that part there was no malice they were just hurting um but again um, some wonderful things are happening for you. Like I said, the um, you had a major, major breakthrough. I think when you really sat down and you thought about what happened, then that's when you like 
okay, now I know what's going on. I'm, I'm clear. I know what's going on. You know, I can move forward. I, I have laser focus now. So it's not like you, um, you, you recognize it for what it is and you actually gave it to the universe. Really, you just like, okay, I gave it to the universe. But this earth sign that doubted you, um, you know, like I said, it's not much they, I can say about them, the person that doubted you, um, this earth sign who doubted you, except, you know, they just had egg on their face. You know, they doubted you and now they have egg on their face, right? So this is like a, this is a, this is a, um, this is a really, really detailed, like what I'm getting from this is really detailed. Like I said, it's going to resonate with some people. It may not resonate with everybody, but like I said, this earth sign, um, really doubted your, like doubted your sincerity, doubted, um, you know, doubted that you were like this mother figure, you know, and, um, but you know, and it, and it caused you some kind of, some sort of stress, but in the end, it, I mean, it, it didn't affect your money at all. It really didn't affect your money. Like you have really rectified why that person walked away and you just said, you know what? I just have to just, you know, I have to give it to the most high God in the universe and just trust that everything is going to work itself out. But like I said, this, um, this, this, um, this person who, um, doubted everything about you as far as money and wealth. You know, they, they doubt, they doubt it. This is about control, control, stability, conservativeness. Um, this is about somebody doubting you, somebody trying to hold you back, somebody trying to limit you, you know, as far as your money is concerned, they just, they just actually represent, they are represented as like a distraction. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so you have two different scenarios going on here. But everything, like I said, everything is working out in your favor. You had a major, major breakthrough. and um, But I sense there is a child somewhere in this that, like, you know, walked away from somebody. And um, somebody, uh, uh, the child was, like, in the, the air element, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, in that air element. And it's somebody that you're very, very familiar with. Like, you've known them since they were a child. You were like a mother to them. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, this earth sign, you know, doubted you as far as money is concerned, your money and wealth. And, um, they, they doubted your mothering skill. They doubted a whole lot of stuff, but look, luck is on your side. New moon and Sagittarius. So, um, Sagittarius is also a fire sign, just like you are. Um, so remember, like I said, justice, luck is on your side. Things are working out in your favor on all fronts. You, like I said, you have given this completely to the Most High God in the universe. Um, as far as this, somebody who has like a childlike innocence, um, or who is a child, or something like that, you've given it to the Most High God in the universe. You had a major breakthrough. Maybe you have people around you who are just like just saying, you know what, just let it go. I mean, you know, everything will work out. Just trust that everything is going to work out. But like I said, this person right here, this earth sign really, really doubted you. And now they have egg on their face. Not your problem. <laughs> Not your problem at all, Aries. But that is what I have for you. I mean, like I said, luck is on your side. Everything is working out for you. And so, you know, just, you know, be good with your life. Like you're good. Just, just trust Trust the most high God in the universe that anybody who walked away, that they will be fine. They're going to be fine. And um, if you're concerned about like somebody who has like, like childlike innocence or something in your life that you kind of was like a mother to that they walked away, you will hear something very soon that they are, um, that they're doing just fine, that they're doing just fine. And you'll hear the reasons why, like I say, but I don't think that you, um, you know, um, like I said, this, this earth this earth sign see you right here the emperor on this throne this earth sign doubted everything about you in terms of your spirituality as if there's not enough space for you all to exist in the same you know in the same spiritual realm or whatever and so but um the moment they saw you as competition they lost that's it that the moment they saw you as competition they lost luck is on your side so keep your vibrations high really keep your vibrations very very high because you're winning you're one <laughs> not you're winning you're actually one because they saw you as competition they see you as competition and um but um 
like I said, you had a major breakthrough and you just, that breakthrough for you was just like, just, you know, you just took off running, meaning that you just had laser focus from that point on. Like I said, and everything is going in your favor. And so, like I said, anybody that sees you as competition already lost. That's what I have for you. This is for my Aries. This is, this is my Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Again, um, I'm so happy for you, Aries, because like I say, when you start having that major breakthrough, like you're a spiritual person by default, right? You're a person that actually takes action. And so, you know, when people walk out of your life, you can always, you have the power to actually tap into that part of you. But I think because um, Ch uh, Chiron is in Aries right now, it's, it has caused some kind of doubt. There's no room for doubt. You really don't have a reason to doubt anything because you can tap into that power, that spiritual part of you to see why this person cut themselves off from you, right? You don't have to have any sleepless nights and wondering where they are. And like I said, this person is like, the cups energy represents emotions, a lot of emotions, a lot of um, creativity. So you don't have to be emotional about this person that's like a childlike figure, you know, as to why they walked away or why they cut themselves off. But they also, you know, like I said, they were hurting. But what my major concern here, because I think you had a breakthrough in that area as far as that person is concerned, my major concern is this person seeing as you as competition and spreading lies and rumors about you because they doubted. They doubted you. They doubted you on all fronts. But it still did not stop your coins at all. It did stop your money at all. All right, that's what I have for you, Aries. Have a great day. Bye.